Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my update for Dude You Pan My Battleship. Yes, I am still doing Dude You Pan My Battleship. This project is never going to end. I'm telling you right now, I was talking to Elizabeth a little bit earlier today and I told her to just put me out of my misery, like just end this for me. She doesn't wanna do that for a couple reasons. One, she likes dragging this out. She's having a good old time over there on the other side of the pond watching me struggle to use all these eyeshadows. And two, I really think she doesn't want to win because she knows a lot of you guys are Team Paula and she does not want to steal that thunder away from me. I think she's kind of rooting for me to win because so many of you guys are rooting for me to win. And um, she needs to just go for it. She needs to just go for it, you know? But anyways, it's been a couple of months since I posted an update and the reason for that is because I really haven't been using the eyeshadows in this project very consistently at all. What I've been doing for several months now is picking two eyeshadows out of the whole grid to focus on because looking at all the shadows without pan is a bit overwhelming. Plus I can focus in on those two and if I can find out whether there's a battleship hidden underneath them, I then can plan what the next line of attack is rather than just randomly working on everything. So the two shadows that I've been focusing on for what feels like forever are my blue eyeshadow from Sephora and my MAC Cranberry. I don't think I've used MAC Cranberry at all. Maybe I used it once as like a crease shade, but it's gonna look exactly the same as it did at the last update because I haven't used it. I definitely used Pool Party once, but I feel like maybe I only used it once. I'm just not reaching for these shadows very much at all. I don't know why. I'm trying to focus in on my Pan That Palette and my Baby Pan That Palette and my Pan In Every Palette. Obviously, I have way too many eyeshadows and projects, and that's the problem. I did also have many, many no makeup days in the month of July. I believe I only had one no makeup day this past month, but it's it, it affects the bottom line. It affects the bottom line. So the reason I'm doing this update is not so much to show off my progress, but to share with you Elizabeth's progress because she has been working on this project off and on and she has made some progress. So, so I am still at five pans out of my entire battlefield and four of those five pans are direct hits where ships are. I haven't sunk any ships yet. Elizabeth is now at eight pans and four of those pans are direct hits. So we are now tied as far as direct hits, but she has way, way, way more pans than I have, which I'm a little bit jealous of, but you know, I think at this point she has a good idea as far as where I have placed my ships on her battlefield. I'm going to pop up a picture of what her battlefield currently looks like. And um, I think she knows where she needs to go to sink one of my battleships, which sucks because based on where my hits are currently at, I have a pretty strong idea as far as where two of Elizabeth's battleships are located but I technically have no idea where the third one is yet. So I need to get going on that cranberry shade and find out if there's a battleship hidden underneath it. And I think if I hit pool party, I will have sunk Elizabeth's first battleship. So I need to get going on this, but I'm not doing a really good job at working on these eyeshadows. If I can use them once or twice a month, I'm pretty satisfied with that, and really that's not very good. But Elizabeth has made some good progress. Um, she just told me today that she's going to go for that bluish grayish shade in the corner next. So if you're wondering what her plan is, that's what it is. So she is still working on this project and she is kind of kicking my butt. So I had to come on here and let you guys know that. Elizabeth also sent me a package that just arrived. Well, it arrived a couple days ago, but I just opened it today. So I thought I would hop on here and show you guys what she got me because I just think it's the sweetest thing ever. I mean, the idea that somebody would send something all the way over from the UK to me is just so sweet. So thank you so much, Elizabeth, for sending me these goodies. And if you're from UK, 
I think you're gonna get a kick out of this because I think you're gonna relate to Elizabeth on these gifts in some way, shape, or form because some of them are very specific to the UK. So first of all, look at this. This is Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. This is a gigantic, huge bar of chocolate. It is absolutely huge. I've already eaten the entire top row of this and it is amazing for some reason and i don't know why um at least where i live in the midwest cadbury is a name that you only hear about at easter there's cadbury eggs and cadbury like chocolate easter bunnies oh it just broke there's cadbury eggs and cadbury chocolate easter bunnies and my husband loves cadbury eggs so we always buy cadbury eggs at easter and they are gone like that and then I try to find them like the day after Easter when they're being clearanced out and buy everything I could find because my husband loves Cadbury eggs. But literally, outside of Easter, I don't feel like I see the word Cadbury or the name Cadbury anywhere in my area for the other 10 months out of the year. So apparently Cadbury is a big name year round in the UK and it's her favorite chocolate. So thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing your favorite chocolate with me. The item that prompted this whole package is this right here. She got me the Every Drop, the original beauty spatula, which she claims is the best spatula out there. I haven't tried it yet, but she says that every project panner absolutely must have this spatula. She found it on Amazon for me. And I do have a couple of spatulas but they both suck they came as a set and i've never been very satisfied with either of them so i'm really excited to try this out because she highly recommends this spatula in particular it's kind of got like a triangle shape and i think what makes this potentially a better spatula than the ones i have is that it's a little bit firmer it's still got some give to it around the edges but it's not gonna like flop over and that's kind of the problem with one of the spatulas I have now. So this is the product that kind of prompted the whole package in the first place. She did also send me two makeup products from her stash, which is kind of cool. Like the only other person I've ever shared makeup with is Jamie. And Jamie and I have been friends for 23 years. So she's kind of like, the sister I've never had. Like, I don't think anything of sharing my makeup with her or getting makeup from her that she doesn't want, but Jamie is like the only person I've ever shared makeup with. So now I have another sister. Elizabeth shared two products with me. First of all, she sent me this, it's called a blush. It's the Emite, Emite Makeup Artist Color Powder Blush in 108. And she sent this to me because she knows that I love a bronzer that has a lot of red to it. And um, this is a bronzery blush with a lot of red. It's like a bronzer. And I am obsessed with bronzers. I think this is going to be perfect. Look at my forehead. It already matches my forehead. <laughs> I'm really excited to try this out. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And then she also sent me this thing. I've never seen this ever. It's from Benefit. It's called One Hot Minute. Have any of you guys ever seen this before? It just says it's a sexy in seconds face powder. This is a loose powder, so I'm not gonna like open it up and get it everywhere. But it's kind of a shimmery, bronzery kind of powder. It's not like a translucent or light powder. And um, yeah, so, ugh. I'm gonna try that out and see what I think of that as well. So thank you so much, Elizabeth, for those two products. And the final item she sent me, Marmite. What do you guys know about Marmite? Okay, so here's what I know about. I know nothing about Marmite. Growing up, I used to listen to that song from, was it Kansas, Toto? With where they talk about Vegemite sandwich. So I'm very familiar with Vegemite from songs from the 80s. That's what I know about Vegemite. Elizabeth, apparently in the UK, they don't do Vegemite, they do Marmite. 
And although it sounds like a very similar product, Elizabeth says they are very different. Now I haven't opened it, it's still sealed. I have very specific instructions from Elizabeth that I am not to open this and I'm not to try it until she gives me very specific directions on how to eat this so that the first time I try it, I will like it and enjoy it. Because she says, if you eat it the wrong way, you won't like it. But if you make it and eat it the right way, you will love it. So she's going to be sending me directions on how to eat this tomorrow. Who's eating Marmite? What can you guys tell me about Marmite? This, I don't know anything. It's Marmite yeast extract, rich in B vitamins, vegan spread. I don't know anybody in the U.S. who eats this. No one. Not Vegemite, not Marmite. You don't see this in the U.S., at least not in any of the stores that I go to. But you know, it's one of those things where now I'm thinking, I wonder if it's been in the stores the whole time and I've just never noticed it. I don't think so. I don't think they sell this in the U.S. or at least in the Midwest, but um, I'm going to be trying some Marmite very, very soon. So if you are familiar with this product, let me know. Do you love it? Do you hate it? How do you eat it? There you go. All right, guys, that is it for this update for Dude You Pan My Battleship. I know it's a weird one. I wish I had more to report, I really do. But even though I haven't made any progress, I wanted to give you guys this update so you could know that Elizabeth is kicking butt and taking names. So congratulations on all your success in this project, Elizabeth. Anytime you wanna wipe me out and end this project, I am ready for it to be over because if you're waiting for me to win, we're gonna be playing this for years. I'm just saying. All right, you guys, that is it for this update. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.